Troy, your stock moved very strongly on news yesterday. The, the market loved the nickel results. Let's start there with some of your highlights, of course. Thank you. Yeah. Hey, Tracy, uh, second hole, uh, assay results come back for the second hole from Barterford. That's from our summer drill program. Uh, very, very strong. Uh, 122 meters of massive sulfide mineralization, nickel bearing massive solid uh, sulfide mineralization with grades of 1.36% nickel equivalent. Or if you put that into the perspective of copper, uh, that would be 4.0%. 0.07% copper equivalent. So significant uh, intersection of nickel bearing sulfide mineralization, um, regardless of what metric you're use, using. It, it's one of the best uh, it's one of the best nickel sulfide holes drilled over the last number of years in a pre-resource uh, stage project globally. Uh, so that, that's providing a bit of context as to where these results rank up uh, in terms of an exploration success. Okay, so let's talk about this a little bit further. People out there are going critical minerals, nickel. Nickel is definitely one of those critical minerals that people are following. What, it's on the critical mineral list for the United States, for Canada. Um, and of course, you're here in Canada, safe jurisdiction, uh, close to surface and high grade. Tell us a little bit more about these results. Were there any surprises other than, you know, undoubtedly the, the grade must have made you very happy. Hey, well, the, the grade was phenomenal. Uh, you know, you touched on the, the, the key, you know, fundamentals and metrics that we're looking at, uh, at Barta for uh, at our HPM project. Okay. It's first, you start off with the commodity, uh, critical minerals, nickel, copper, cobalt, um, class one nickel is, uh, in, in a deficit, uh, and, uh, Hey, the world needs more class one nickel, needs more critical minerals product or projects. Okay. Uh, th there is a lack of exploration projects and there is a lack of development stage projects to feed the, the future and projected demand in the, in the nickel and critical mineral space. And, you know, then you back that out to a, uh, a project specific level and, uh, what we're doing is advancing and expanding a zone of mineralization at HPM uh, that already has significant strike um, width and depth potential. Um, and what we did over the course of the summer is, is just, we, we set out to expand that zone of mineralization. We did just that. And the second hole um, intersected significant massive sulfide mineralization at shallow depths and that, that, that mineralization projects right to surface. So it has us in what we feel is a really, really strong spot to uh, significantly progress this project forward. Um, and, and importantly, it, it's in Quebec. Uh, Quebec is uh, one of the best mining jurisdictions globally. Um, and it's also within uh, kilometers of road, uh, rail, and, and hydroelectric power. Um, so a fantastic platform for us, Tracy. Troy, the location map that you included in your news release is something I think we should all take a look at. Can you talk to the key points on this map, please? Yeah, it, it, what, what the, the insert into, into the press release was, it, that's Bartifer, that's a zone of mineralization that it has been modeled and it's projected to surface um, over top of an EM anomaly or, or an electric magnetic anomaly. But the key factor here is, that, you know, this shows um, this shows a, a couple key things, and it shows that Bartifer, the zone of mineralization, has been expanded and extended to about 370 meters on strike. Uh, it has a now it has a width of about 200 meters uh, with individual uh, accumulation and lenses of, of mineralization um, in that 45 to 50 meter. Uh, wide thickness. Um, and it's also what it doesn't really capture, uh, but it is the depth extent now. And so we, we've extended mineralization of what, what was previously 290 down to about 475 meters. So it, significant expansion in, in all areas, in all directions. And the, the key part here is that Bartifer remains completely unconstrained. Uh, it is open on strike uh, in both directions and it is open at depth. Uh, so it is ready to expand and it is set up to expand. So for anyone at Investor Intel who's scratching their head, I think what you're really saying, speaking of scratching, is that you're only scratching the surface here. Is that what this is, the, the, the theme that you're trying to communicate? 
That, that's exactly what I'm saying, uh, Tracy. That you know, it's early. Um, we, we've we've done enough work to date to understand uh, the potential here, but in terms of unlocking that potential, it is very early. Uh, we're just scratching the surface. Um, and you know, in addition to Bardifer, which is a zone that we focus drilling on, we have a significant pipeline of exploration targets um, on the HPM property that have been prospected. They've been de-risked, uh, and that that leads us, you know, right into the 2023, you know, planning and program where, you know, the 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 intention is to continue to expand uh, mineralization at Barter for a while at the same time, uh, continuing to de-risk and test our portfolio and pipeline of very prospective uh, nickel bearing sulfide targets at the HPM property. So if you're not watching Murchison Minerals yet, uh, especially after the news came out yesterday and your stock moved as high as 40% yesterday and incredible volume, you certainly will be watching it moving forward. Your critical minerals, again, nickel, nickel, copper, and cobalt. What should we anticipate next? When's our next news release to follow up the action from yesterday's announcement, Troy? Yeah. So the, the summer program included, uh, we drilled 13 holes. Uh, we have assay results back for two. So there's assay results pending for 11 more drill holes. Uh, we will release those results uh, as soon as we get them back from the lab. Uh, when we have complete holes back, we will release those results. And then looking forward after the, the assay results, all of this work sets us up to be in a position to do uh, uh, maiden resource estimate or resource estimation work uh, on the zone of mineralization itself. And so that's looking forward into, uh, into Q1 of next year. Well, Troy, congratulations on this significant milestone drilling results. And uh, we look forward to uh, getting an update sooner than later. Thank you. Thanks, Tracy. Appreciate it.